Just food for thought. I don't really call this teaching either. It's just a conversation, really. That's all this is. And as part of this food for thought, I want to share with you a simple, simple example. I see a lot of uh, desis in the house. Desis? Show of hands. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi Okay. All right. I'm desi too. Okay. I'm... So we have our weddings. You give an advice to a family, don't have an elaborate wedding. Don't take a loan out of 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars to pull off this insane wedding, this ridiculous party that's gonna have like eight different sessions. It's like the playoffs. Every day is a major event, right? There's the maybe Mandy part one, maybe part two, reception, reception and a half, and then you know, then this thing, then that thing, and this shower and that shower, just nikah is just Nikah walima done, right? Keep it simple. But no, we gotta go all out. And why do we have to go all out? Because your cousin had a better wedding. And if we don't have that kind of wedding, how are we gonna show our face? What's your uncle gonna say? What's your grandmother gonna say? What's this one gonna say? What's that one gonna say? What people are going to say drives you so insane that you put yourself in insane amounts of credit card debt. And this family, this new family that has just started, starts their life in debt. And they're getting, as presents, they're getting like 30 blenders of $100 gift cards. And on top of that, they inherit something they're paying off for 2-3 years. No wonder, you know one of the main causes of early divorce is financial distress. And you're starting a married life with financial distress. Who put that burden on you? And look at the sunnah of Allah's Messenger wasallam. Easy, straightforward. A really good friend of mine, Imam Isa from Roosevelt, Long Island. I was at his masjid one time for Asr. I was waiting for Maghrib and his brother walks in. Shaykh, I gotta do a nikah. He goes, okay. He goes, all right, can I come after Maghrib? He was like, fine. So I was like, oh, I gotta watch this. I gotta see this. After, after Maghrib, a couple of people walked into the masjid, maybe eight altogether. The guy himself, the, the guy getting married, came in with an apron dirtied with blood because he sacrificed his own animal for the walima that they're gonna have after Isha. Within 45 minutes, the affair was over. We hugged each other, celebrated, and done. That's a wedding. <laughs> Man, that's how simple our deen is. It's a thing of beauty. You know, it's a thing of beauty. But when we complicate it on ourselves and we bring all these problems upon ourselves, stress, nastiness, how many fights and arguments you remember happened at the time of the wedding? How many arguments? How much nastiness? This one said this, they said you didn't get us a hotel room. And we didn't get a first, you know, chair on the first row. And that one was saying something about your dress and all this dumb stuff. And we make our lives hard with it. And Allah says the intention, the objective of these rules, make your life easy. You were made weak.